Lesson 12.7, Solving Rational Expressions, our last lesson of the year, and it's uh, tricky stuff. The first few problems aren't so bad. We're looking at a proportion here. Fraction on either side, so we just do the Jimmy Neutron. X times X plus 4 equals 12. That's just simple cross-multiplying. Then the rest is just some algebra. Then some factoring. Now the only problem with these are that sometimes you introduce an answer that won't work. So you have to go back and check. And I just look at this, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. 6 over negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So this one works. 2 over 2 is 1. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 over 6 is 1. This one also works. Make sure you check your answers. Sometimes it won't work. I think I have an example of that later. Try this one on your own. Pause recording because I'm just going to do it very quickly. Five thirds, five minus two is three, five thirds, that works. Negative three over three is negative one, negative three minus two is negative five, so negative one works. Those are the cross multiplying ones. Those are the easier problems. Now we got some trickiness. We got this. Don't know if you've ever seen a problem like this. One third plus one half equals x over four. But the way I've always told people to solve it is to multiply through by everything on the bottom to get rid of it. In this case, 4 times 3, we can multiply by 12, by 12, by 12. We get 4 plus 6 equals 3x, and then it's easier to solve. That's how I recommend you solve this. As a matter of fact, that's the only way to solve that. And do it one at a time if that's what it takes. So rewrite it and leave yourself plenty of space. Let's get rid of the x minus 2 first. And let's put parentheses around anything on the bottom and anything on the top just so we keep it straight. x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2. Cancel, 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 cancel. We could actually solve it now, but why not do them all? Five, five, five. Cancel. That's it. Now it's just a mess. You got to clean up the mess, but only thing left here is a 5x. Only thing left here is an x minus 2 times 1, but... I don't need the 1, so I'll just get rid of it, and 10. Now it's actually a very easy problem. There'll be some that you have to factor, but this one's not too bad. 6x equals 12, divide by 6, x equals 2. We should check this, just in case this answer breaks our extraneous value rule. And lo and behold, it does. When I put it in the bottom here, I get 2 minus 2. That's 0. So we've done everything correctly. We've made no mistakes, and at this point, we cross it out. And we don't erase it, we cross it out. Because right now we're saying that's our solution. It's cross out saying, but it doesn't work because of the whole extraneous value concept. We cannot have zero on the bottom. When we solve problems this way, that's what happens. Flip over. 
Same problem. Except, I don't know what to multiply through by. I don't want to multiply through by this. That's a mess. So, as in previous cases, let's factor it. Leave yourself plenty of space out front. Put parentheses around everything. I don't usually put fractions over everything, but a lot of people seem to like that. So that one's for you. I believe 7 and 2 work here. Negative 7, negative 2, positive 14, negative 9. Multiply everything by x minus 7. Cancel. Cancel. Nothing here. Only leaves x minus 2. Nearly forgot this one. This plus is in the way. Didn't leave enough room, even though I told you guys to. Leave it, leave it. Good. And cancel. Clean up the mess. 3. That's there. Times x minus 2. That's over here. Plus x minus 2 times x minus 7. Should have just foiled that out right away. Equals 8. But I'm going to do all the foiling at once. 3x minus 6 plus x squared minus 9x plus 14. Did I really have to do that? No, I didn't. How do you know what these two multiply out to? They're right here. Doesn't matter if you notice that or not. It does come in handy to save yourself some time. I have an x squared without it being canceled. It's supposed to be a plus. So now just set everything to the left side. x squared. 3x minus 9x is negative 6x. 14 minus 8 is 6. Minus 6 is 0. Equals 0. Factor it. X equals 0. X equals 6. Check them. 0 minus 7 gives me negative 3 7 plus 1 gives me 4 7 on the right side. 0, 0 gives me 8 over 14, which is 4 over 7. 0 works. I am not going to check 6 because it's a mess and I don't want to waste the time. But you should definitely do it. But more to the point, it won't cause any zeros in the bottom, so I'm going to assume I did it correctly. 6 minus 7 is not a problem. 6 in here is not a problem. 7, 2 would have caused problems here. Tricky stuff. Very doable, though. Try this one on your own. I pause the recording, so I'm going to do it very, very quickly. Check if negative 10 works. Uh, negative 10 over negative 6 is, uh, I'm going to erase it on the fly, 5 thirds plus 1 third is 6 thirds. That gives me 2. 
And on this side, negative 10 plus 4, negative 6, negative 12 over 6 is 2. I can do that in my head. You might want to use a calculator and write it out. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed all the lessons. Good luck and get working.